Hello, good morning from a rather glorious Tuesday the 3rd. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so manufacturing activity came in at 60.4 in July. It could have been higher were it not for the technical difficulties like material shortages and supply chain bottlenecks. However, the, uh, the re recovery remains robust in the manufacturing sector and that delivers about 20% of UK GDP. But the data is unlikely to affect the MPC outcome on Thursday, but it may help fuel debate between those who want support to remain in place while the recovery builds even firmer footing and those who are more fearful of inflation and feel tapering should start sooner rather than later. We may see a split um, in the vote over the asset purchase scheme, but the chances are the overall outcome will remain one of let's wait and see. Uh, that view is supported by growing speculation that the remover of furlough could see around 150,000 added to the unemployment numbers over the next few months. Uh, we've just got to hope that the pace of the recovery will see those workers uh, absorbed into the jobs market elsewhere. Um, in the market, sterling stayed in a fairly tight range against the dollar yesterday. We traded between 138.75 and 139.25. And it was a similar story against the euro as the market took positions ahead of the MPC meeting. Sterling fell to about 116.85 and closed just shy of the 117 mark, which is where we opened this morning. Um, over in the US, the economy has crossed that pre-pandemic level. Um, and with that milestone achieved, you can see why so many feel that the time is right to start gently applying the brakes uh, with monetary policy. However, the Fed remains unconvinced and Powell remains laser focused on ensuring there is no chance of any backward step when they do begin to withdraw support. Um, the next Fed meeting is in late September, so we'll have two months of data to review and we should have a little more clarity on the relative strength of activity, employment and output. Um, keep an eye on manufacturing in the US and also in China uh, because any slowdown could cause a slowdown in the wider global recovery. Uh, for now though it's hard to judge whether the downturn is driven by supply chain distribution or shortages of labour. So we should probably just wait and see, right? Uh, to be fair though, it's not an entirely uncomfortable position. Uh, the economy is definitely moving in the right direction towards the inflation and employment goals that Powell set out at the last Fed meeting. Um, but it does look like the era of easy money uh, is ending, but we'll probably manage to still eke out a few more months of it, uh, so don't panic just yet. Uh, the dollar remains under pressure and the dollar index fell to a low of 91.90 yesterday. Uh, Euro dollar pulled, pulled up just short of the 119 mark um, and we opened this morning about uh, 118.75 on that cross. Uh, right, well that's it from me this morning. Have a great day and do join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.